everyone, Amanya Gangaze Ezeka Mutesasra. My name is Esther Mutesasra. Ndiwano, Culture Connect. I'm here chilling with Sharon at Culture, at Culture Connect. <laughs> from Bulu Masakali, Rakaramoja, Ajumani, Mateso Waganda, Masoga. Welcome to Culture Connect. It's me, your girl again, Sharon, today in studio. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Oh my God, to have Mr. Rogers Mugeni all the way from the Buganda Kingdom, the servant of the king, the son of the land, Buganda mm. Kingdom. Welcome to the show, Mr. Rogers. Thanks so much, uh, Sharon. It's an honor for me to be here to represent uh, the Kingdom of Buganda and be able to be uh, of, of value to this conversation. And I'm hoping that we are going to have a great discussion today. <laughs> I'm also happy. I can't wait to hear from you. Actually, the person who named Uganda to be the pearl of Africa was true, was really correct and very true. And today we'll be exploring the Uganda kingdom, the land of the five hills, the land of the Kabaka. Personally, I've heard a lot of the king of Uganda has Many names. I mean, if you hear this name, you guys out there, you must continue to watch. I don't know where you're working, you're watching from, from your kitchens, your sitting rooms, your your bedrooms, your dining rooms. I don't know, but just stay tuned. Be here. We'll be taking you through. I know some of you, I mean, you may not, you don't know your friend's culture. You don't know the language. You don't know what, what they eat. You don't know how they address code. You don't know how they greet. And you also don't know personally where your parents come from. Just stay tuned on Culture Connect. Today we'll be in Buganda Kingdom. Mr. Roger, I want you to um, introduce yourself to the viewers, mm. tell them where you come from. I've had this old Buganda. Actually, every Muganda has a clan where they come from. Mm -hmm. And I've heard that each clan, they have respons different responsibilities to the kingdom. Mm. Would you briefly take us through? Mm. Thanks so much, Sharon. Uh, my name is uh, Rogers Mugenyi. Uh, I am a son of uh, Blemezi, that's the, one of the 18 counties of Buganda. Uh, th that is Uero district from a village called Uziwera. Mm -hmm. My father is the late Sergeant John Jones Kakoza, and my mother is, um, uh, I would kneel as our culture is, but you know we are in the dot com era, it's a bit tight. But my mom is uh, Namatovu. Uh, Jennifer, who still lives, and she's of the uh, Engabi clan, and we come from the Ente clan. We are the official custodians of the king's cows and enough meat uh, so that they can be healthy to serve the kingdom. And uh, I do other things. I am, uh, they, these days they call them MCs for introductions, but I, I we are. Uh, Definitely just not MCs, we do more than that, uh, but we make sure that uh, introduction functions happen as per the norms and customs of Buganda. Wow, you, you spoke about the, like the cows, Yes, you're the official custodians. Can you elaborate a little about that? You own all the cows of the king, you take care of them. What do you do exactly? No, make no mistakes. We don't own. You know the king owns everything okay. under the sun. Okay. He owns the grass. <laughs> he owns the women, the ladies. He owns the men. He owns all the buildings. Maybe, perhaps, he owns Mapela. You never know. The oh king owns everything. So the king has cows, several of them. And it's our duty to ensure that those cows are doing well and that the, the kingdom is supplied with enough milk for the king and, the, and his people and the subjects to, to do really well. And uh, as you know, milk makes skins and, you know, we are responsible for why our king glitters the way you see him. So it's your, your duty? It's our duty. The, the cow clan, the people from the cow clan? Yes, the Ente clan. Okay, you also say that the king owns everything. Yes, he owns Can you tell us um, owns even the women? Is it true? He owns or everything. I said everything and everybody belongs to the king. We are all the king's people. We are all the king's subjects, and uh, we are we do it. We are we are very happy that that we belong to the king. Where do you Baganda get that? You know that the king owns. Get that 
audacity to say the king owns everything. He owns the land. He owns the women. Eh? Mm. The Kabak of Buganda is the shadow of God on earth. He, he is the owner of all the land, of all the minerals, perhaps including the minerals in Hoima, the, the oil. He owns everything. So some of us could be owning, keeping that land because the, the, it, it pleased the king that we, for some time now, be the ones mm. uh, inhabiting that land. But the land really belongs to the king. That's why we call him Sabataka, the owner of the land, the supreme owner of the land. And he, it pleases him to distribute it to whoever he pleases to distribute it to. So um, that's why I told you that the king owns everything. Oh my God. So it just pleases the king. Like you guys, the way you, you say it, it pleases the king to, to have, like if the king wants your wife, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you'd say it has the king is pleased to have my wife. Mm? Uh, under normal circumstances, yes, but you know we are we are talking culture connect. Yes, it is culture. Culture evolves over time. There are things that uh, our great 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 grandparents did that uh, we cannot do right now. There are a lot of uh, factors that have, have formed the culture we have now. There is education. There is. Uh, introduction of religion, there is what they call civilization, and I don't know what that means. So, I mean, there are a lot of factors that have, that are for now allowed some of us who, because it pleased the king that we are now married, the king cannot really take our women. <laughs> well, Maruja, what do you find so unique? about the, the Uganda culture, about your culture, what you really feel proud of. If you're introducing yourself, you say, I'm Roger Smogeni from Buganda. Mm. Hey, I'm so proud of this. Tell us something you're proud of to there be are, a Muganda. There are a lot of things. Yes. <laughs> First of all, the word uh, Buganda means of Uganda. It means unity. A lot oh, of people, I didn't know about that. Yes. It means bundles brought together. Of Uganda. So if you study the history of Uganda, you realize that Buganda was not Buganda. The Buganda you see there were there was just once one chiefdom that kept expanding. Okay. It would even it would interest your your ears to learn that places like Voodoo were not were not part of Buganda. Okay. So they were chiefdoms. But because of the might of, of our ancestors, okay. we, cop, we kept conquering and conquering and expanding. So one of the, the things that I'm proud of being a Muganda is the element of unity, the element of accepting everybody. Right now you will find people calling themselves um, um, Kabaka's man, Kabaka's subject. But they are not necessarily the indigenous Buganda. Okay. But it's because Buganda is so open, it allowed many people to come. And we have now been able to marry, intermarry uh, each mm -hmm. other. And so that diversity and being able to, to, in, inter, to, you know, to interact with other people okay. is one of the things that really I'm proud of to uh, being called a Muganda because it, it means that I'm open to people. It means that I love other people. Wow, by the Buganda are very hospitable people, yes. and they are very loving people, our dear viewers. Buganda, they are very hospitable and loving people. Yes. Um, when we talk about uh, the way you came dressed, um, you're so smart, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> you're so Thank smart, you. you came dressed. Tell us, what inspired you eh, to mm. come like this? Uh, first of all, when I received the call to come and have a conversation on the Culture Connect, I asked myself, what are we going to talk about? As a Muganda man, we are going to talk about the Chiganda culture. One way that people can tell whether you've been well-groomed as a Muganda man is how you, you know, you dress. How you dress. That's yes. why we, when we see people dressed in skimpy dresses and skimpy skirts, we are like, mm-mm, that must be something from somewhere, not Chiganda-like. 
Some people maybe didn't have time with their aunties. Some people didn't have time with their uncles. Or their parents were busy at work and they never grasped how a Uganda person really dresses. So this is a kanzu and uh, a kanzu is uh, now the official way of dressing for Uganda men. And you will realize that um, uh, before this we were putting on skins and then before skins we were putting on leaves. Before leaves you know what we were putting on. And after the, <laughs> after the skins we are now putting on back clothes. So um, from back clothes to, to now kanzus and now when you put on a kanzu, people will not really question whether you were a respectable person or not. So um, uh, find the time, dear viewer, to you know, put on a kanzu on, on a free time and go to the beach and you know, feel free to, to be a Uganda. Mr. Roger, to the beach, really? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, you're proud of who you are. You, you, you. You are who you are, wherever you are. So, yeah, feel free to put on officially and go wherever you want uh, as a Mganda man, as a Mganda woman. So do also young boys, let me say young boys, do they also dress, dress up in kanzus? Yes, kanzus are favorite Mganda man. Okay, and They for... could be young men mm. uh, because we are always evolving. Who is a person who is a boy right now Mm. is a man tomorrow so it's we you know they say charity begins at home we need to begin grooming our people our younger people uh, from childhood to know what it means the responsibilities of a Muganda man how a Muganda man behaves how a, a Muganda man conducts themselves okay mm. what about for the women the, the women in Uganda what exactly do they, do they put on our women put on gomasis. Mm. Uh, gomasis. Uh, so I hear some people calling them busutis. I don't know what that means, but mm. I know that our women put on gomasis and uh, inside the gomasis they put in what we call a chikoi. A chikoi and then they tie themselves around with the chitambara, which is some form of a belt. Okay. And then they they do what they call okuogola, I don't know how to call it in English, but <laughs> they put on and they, they are really very smart. Yeah, they always look smart, by the way. Yes. Baganda ladies in Gomez's. Now, Roger, tell us, uh, there's a question which has been burning inside my heart. Mm. When I hear the names that Baganda men and women give to the king, mm. I'm like, oh my God, I know, I know some of you are out there also wondering. The king of Buganda has like, over 30, 39 names, let me say. Over, I'm just saying. Mr. Roger, can you please briefly take us through the names? The names are very many, but I can pick out those that I can remember. Okay. Um, first of all, I told you that the king is the, the shadow of God on earth. <laughs> That's also a name. Yes. Kabaka chisikilize cha katonda. Kunsi. Edabu ulaba kabaka obwangara jeku katonda. Oh. So it is... An earthly exemplification. The king is an earthly exemplification of God. His majesty, his smile, his demeanor. You, it's like you're looking at God. So one of them is that Chisikabaka Chisikinze Chaka Tonda. That is what? Ye Mujugumi Zansi. Mujugumi Zansozi. Ayugumia Ensozi. When he speaks, the rocks and the mountains, they roar. Because of his the power of his tongue, his uh, kabaka is uh, uh, Natalie Nyamkateve. Akateve is is some sort of uh, plant that is uh, on water. Okay. When, when you look at it, you might think it is there stable. When you step on it, anyhow, mm. it it <laughs> takes you down and it comes back and it, so it means oh the kabaka God. is the chief of strategy. Is the best when it comes to thinking and strategizing for the kingdom. The key you you you're looking for the king, mm -hmm. and uh, we have another name which is Katemakansinjo, uh, uh, like the kingdom. The king is like a weapon. For a weapon. A, yeah, is a weapon. If you touch any Muganda, the, there is a weapon to to you know, to defend the Baganda people. So it's called Katemakansinjo. 
Uh, the king is also called Empologoma ya Buganda. He's the king of the jungle. The lion. The lion. Hmm? The, the king, king is, is the lion. Yes. What you guys had? The king is also called Seguanga. Seguanga is like a cock. He's like, he's the chief man. Like, he's the man of the men. Uh, so uh, all those are to depict the power of the king. He's also a, a, a musota. Not, oh. not really a snake in the form of how you people say you a snake. That <laughs> girl is a snake. Be of careful. Of course, when, when I hear <laughs> it's a snake, you know, a snake, the king of Uganda also has a name, it, has a snake. Yes, he's a snake and it means that uh, uh, he, the king can sting. You can look at a snake there as if it, is, it can't do anything, mm. but if you hurt it anyhow, it can sting. It can sting. So which means if you touch any Muganda, mm -hmm. the king can sting you. Guys out there, be very careful with Baganda. Be very careful. Be very careful with Baganda. Be very careful with Buganda. <laughs> be careful how you, you know. But also feel free because all those things come when you are not a good person. But if you're mm. a good person, the Baganda people are good to you. The king is good to you. And you will not have the consequences. <laughs> the names that wow. we are talking about. Wow, that's so beautiful. Yes. Actually, it's so beautiful to hear those all those names. If you guys out there, I don't know, uh, your cultures, I know different cultures have different kings, different tribes have mm -hmm. different kings, but for, for the Baganda, it's very special and very interesting to hear. Um, it's very interesting to hear. Yes. Thank you, Roger. Thank you very much for knowing your culture, yes. for loving it, and for being proud of it. Yes. Now moving away from the king and all that, we've we've had stories that um in Buganda mm. when a child is born, for example, we want to know about the child naming when a child is born. What process? I know different tribes mm. have different processes, different naming. You know those rituals that they do. They take the child to the to the singers, eh, mm -hmm. to the aunties to verify to prove that this is really my mm -hmm. son. For example, you Roger, if you your wife gives birth. You have to take the, your child to your home, your parents. Mm -hmm. They have to do the naming, the naming ritual. You have mm -hmm. to find out, is this really our son's eh, child? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cast through. How do the Baganda um. people do it? <laughs>